Um, so WWF, we are a global and science-based organization, and not many people know about the science-based part. Um, so we also have a vision, which is uh, a future where humans live in harmony with nature. Um, and, I mean, we've been working uh, globally with uh, sustainability issues for almost 60 years now, uh, 50 years in Sweden. And I think one of our strengths have been that we are good at uh, communicating science to the masses, making the complex issues uh, graspable or understandable. Um, when the planetary boundaries came out, we were very, very happy. Not all of us, it was like, okay, now uh, this is uh, something new, and I mean, it's a big, large organization, very slow, so it takes a while to understand some things and, and change. But most of us were very happy because uh, WWF, or, we are an old organization and we are also used to working in silos. And sometimes we work uh, very much uh, against different departments. So we work with climate change, we work with water, biodiversity and so on. Uh, and sometimes those departments uh, kind of um, argue on how, how, uh, which one should have the most focus and so on. So when the, the planetary boundaries came out, we were very, very happy because it was more of a holistic approach, which is very, very good. Uh, we're also lobbyists, and uh, one thing that we're, um, uh, we're very happy about was that we can actually use the planetary boundaries as a tool to, uh, to push the policy sector and also the business sector very much. We work a lot with partnerships, and... Um, we are an organization that really uh, uh, are all about collaboration. So, so the boundaries we're very good at uh, using as a tool to push uh, our partners as well. And this is something I'm very proud of because when I started working at WWF six years ago, I'm from communication, the communication and marketing side from the beginning. Um, we here in Sweden came up with this, One Planet Business, because of the planetary boundaries. Uh, so what, is, what, what do you want to do with businesses? Well, we want them to work within the planetary boundaries. So, so we, we developed this concept of one planet business. And now uh, more and more within uh, WWF uh, globally is working with this, but also uh, one planet business is coming up more and more in other types of uh, um, initiatives. We saw that the, that the week just uh, one planet business for biodiversity, and that's not even a WWF concept. So that's, that's really good. Um, of course, we do reports, we do our own science, or uh, we try to, anyway. Um, and we have this, our Bible, the Living Planet Report, that we uh, publish every other year. Uh, this one came out last fall, and it had a huge impact, and it's all based on the planetary boundaries. Um, so, I mean, we, we are using this a lot within the organization. Uh, we also use it for different types of initiatives to push the business sector, like I told you. Um, we have the Science-Based Targets Initiative um, that we're working together uh, with you and also uh, World Resource Institute, CDP, and so on. We, we mean business and uh, uh, Global Compact. Uh, and that's for climate action. And when we uh, used uh, this uh, initiative, we can actually see that it was so much easier for companies to actually understand why we should work with climate change. It's before it was like, you should do this and you should you know, lower your carbon emissions, but when we actually said, well, it's based on the science, you have, to, you have to do this, and this is the way to do it, this is a, a very set methodology, the companies kept, uh, kept coming. And we're very uh, good at uh, trying to um, uh, lobby the business sector to, to actually do something. So that's maybe another strength that we have. Um, oh, the logo doesn't... Uh, see, oh, anyway, the logo for Holbar Lismedes Kedja, Sustainable Food Chain, it's another initiative that we have. Uh, where actually Johan Rockström came at the launch uh, when he heard about this initiative, he was very happy. Um, it's an initiative to actually uh, gather the whole food chain uh, in Sweden. Uh, we have 16 large companies um, and we all uh, use the planetary, planetary boundaries uh, for nitrogen and phosphorus, for instance, um, but also climate change and, uh, and other uh, areas to, to see how can we, as um, uh, the food sector, work together to, 
to have develop um, a roadmap uh, to to have a sustainable food chain by 2030. Um, so I mean, it's it's uh, amazing. They're just sitting around a, a table. Agree, agreeing on how to have a sustain, sustainable food chain by 2030, and it's also something that's been using, uh, been used and pushed out in the WWF uh, globally. Uh, well, I'm gonna jump, but this is not the right presentation. <laughs> oh, anyway, doesn't matter. Um, um, we also have uh, another. Um, well, maybe I can use this. Um, we use the planetary boundaries in um, different types of uh, uh, initiatives that I said. We have context-based uh, context water targets. We have something called water stewardship, which is also an uh, initiative based on the planetary boundaries. Um, we also work a lot with partners uh, deeply, like uh, IKEA and H&M here in Sweden, for instance. And then we start out from the planetary boundaries uh, as, a, as a starting point in the, the strategies that we build together for sustainable business uh, models. So, um, yes, I can't really remember <laughs> what else uh, I'm going to show you about this. But uh, basically, it's the basis for all of our work. Um, and we also use, the, of course, the SDGs and uh, the, Paris, uh, the target, uh, targets in the Paris Agreement. So, uh, we use it for concepts, uh, research, collaborations, different types of initiatives, partnerships, um, and also uh, future initiatives that we have going. We have a new initiative called Baltic Stewardship, or it's a working name, where we're going to work with the nutrient sector, um, circulation of the nutrients uh, within the whole food system. Uh, we're going to start off uh, around the Baltic Sea, all nine countries. So, that's something uh, you have to keep your eyes on in the future. Um, yeah, and uh, we also use it, of course, as a uh, means to, for call to actions and advocacy in different types of uh, ways and, and uh, try to get companies to sign and say, hey, you should use the planetary boundaries more and, and we're behind it, so come on, um, politicians. And now it's your turn to, turn to work with this.